In this video, we're gonna compare the Apple Magic Mouse 2 to the Logitech Pebble 2 mouse. Both of these are great feature pack mouses, but there's quite a few differences in the way that you operate them. The Magic Mouse is rechargeable and it uses lightning both to charge and pair the mouse. And you do find that the lightning port is on the bottom side of the Magic Mouse. So if you wanna connect it to your computer, you actually have to plug in a USB-C to lightning cable in order to pair it. Or if you wanna use it with an iPad, the pairing process is a little bit more tricky. Pebble Mouse has the Logitech Easy Switch button on the bottom, so to change what device it's paired to, all you have to do is flip it over. You can press and hold the button, that puts it in Bluetooth pairing mode, and once you have devices saved to it, to change between one and the next, all you have to do is press the button for a second, and it'll shuffle between up to three different saved devices. The Pebble 2 is a lot less sleek and minimal than the Magic Mouse. It does have a physical scroll button and you can see both the left and right click on the Pebble Mouse. And the Magic Mouse allows you to tap, scroll, and swipe in order to use your standard mouse gestures and actions. I find the Magic Mouse is honestly really comfortable to use all the different features on the top of the mouse, but it's not a very comfortable mouse to use because of the angle of your wrist. But the Pebble Mouse is really not that much better in terms of ergonomics, but it is quite a bit cheaper. The Pebble Mouse comes in at about $30 and the Magic Mouse comes in at $70, or it's a little bit more money if you wanna buy the black Magic Mouse. The Pebble Mouse is also available in black, graphite, white, and rose, so you get more color options with the Pebble 2 mouse. My recommendation is buy the Pebble Mouse if you're gonna be using it with multiple devices, if you wanna go back and forth between one and the next, just by using the easy switch button on the back and if you want the physical scroll button. But buy the Magic Mouse if you wanna spend a little bit more money and have all that great Apple functionality that's built into it. It's just not gonna be quite as good for changing from one device to the next because you're gonna to have to pull a cable out. If you're interested in buying either of these mouses, I do have links in the description below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.